So here's another example of the skyline findings, right? So in particular, let's, let's talk about uh, vCenter um, backups, all right? So if you click on this KB, it's right over here. More or less tells you that, hey, by the way, in order to back it up um, from within the um, Photon OS machine, take a look at your settings because for some reason there's a, a, a mapping problem, all right? So let's 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 take a look at this from another perspective. One is, is I'll show you a Docker. Secondly, I'll show you how to do it through the GUI. Okay. Normally we say, hey, by the way, get yourself a a Cephas share, which is a Windows share, or, or a FTP site, or a SFTP site. Here I'll show you how to do everything from scratch. In particular, this is a Photon OS 4.0 machine, right? Um, it has. It does not have Skyline built in yet, right? So, for example, if you were to run Skyline Helper, it doesn't know what's going on. Likewise, if you were to run Docker, right, it's going to say, by the way, Docker's not even running. So what I'll show you here is, is, is Skyline Automation Toolkit, which you'll find on the Flings portal, right? And let's do this. In particular, let's, let's, let's take a look at this box, right? So this has Skyline Automation Toolkit installed. If you were to run the Skyline Docker, you're going to get all these options. Let me show you how to install Docker on this uh, Photon OS, right? In particular, this box, I believe, is running 5.166. So if you were to do Skyline that's Docker, Docker dash install, and then the IP address, it's going to prompt me for the root password. And away it goes. What it has just done is, if you were to take a look, you'll find that there's a Skyline folder, right? Likewise, if you were to do a, you'll find that they have, uh, the Docker is up and running. Now, if you were to take a look, there is no Docker images. So let's fix that, shall we? This time around, let's do a Docker SFTP, which means install SFTP for me, okay? to the same exact box. And as you can see, it's starting to pull down the image, right? So if we were to take a quick look again, you see that it's empty, but it's actually building that out. So now it just went to the second step, which is if you take a look at the images, it pulled down Ubuntu, to be exact, 2004. What it's doing now, it, it's leveraging this particular Ubuntu and it's creating an, an SFTP server, right? When all this is done, what you're gonna see is that if I were to run a Docker images one more time, you're gonna see that there are two images. One is the Ubuntu original. The other one is an SFTP built onto the Ubuntu. All right, with that being said, it doesn't mean that it's done anything, right? So, so if we were to do a Docker PS A, you're going to see that, oh, it created an SFTP container. It's leveraging port 2222, right? So let's take a look, right? This is our visa, right? Um, in particular, I'm jumping onto 5480 to take a look and configure the environment. This particular vCenter, if I were to take a look at backup, there's nothing configured here. So if I were to say, hey, let's back this up. And in this scenario, let's do a SFTP, right? The server, the port, and then the folder. The account is, the password is test. I will give you all of this into the user guide, but if we were to click start, what you can see is it's starting to do the actual backup. Right, so in the past, within Skyline, what you have seen is, is we say, hey, by the way, create yourself a, 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 a CIFA share or a, a SFTP or an FTP site. You should already have one already. Here I'm showing you leveraging a Photon OS box, leveraging uh, Docker. We've just built ourselves an as a FTP server. Likewise, we just told our vCenter to back up to it. Okay, so as it's backing up, even if it's not even finished, right? So we were to do this.
we will drop ourselves into the container itself. If we were to go into that folder, we're going to see that there is a, a vCenter folder. That's the backup folder. Here's the IP address of the vCenter. As you can see, it's 114.132. 114.132, and last but not least, we'll see all of the stuff that that you know that the backup is currently doing. So there you have it. With Skyline doing the recommendations of, of creating the backup, leveraging the automation toolkit, what we've done is we've built out an SFTP server on this Photon OS box and we made sure that our vCenter is backing up to it. Now, being that it backed up to it, which means that you can actually leverage this to do a restore as well, okay? That we can talk about later on, but the point is, is, is I've just shown you, based out of a Skyline recommendation, you now have done a backup of your environment, okay?